All right, so today's a little bit different. Winter's here, there's no snow, so now it's just mud season. So we got a call this morning for a box truck stuck in the mud somewhere in Fairview, Utah. So we've got Colton and Hillbilly and King Fred, and me and the boss are in the Onyx truck. We normally start out at Maverick, but our Maverick decided that they needed to remodel and they're closed. So we can't go to Maverick, which sucks. Sinclair's our new stop for now, because Maverick, they shut it down for some kind of a maintenance, remodeling. Y'all can see Maverick. What's crazy is it was built five years ago. We have a Maverick, another Maverick here in San Pete, which is Mount Pleasant, that that building's older than I am. But why don't they close that one down and build a new instead of maintenance or yeah re maintaining the new maverick we're gonna have hillbilly oh it's gas i was like where's the diesel this is gas <laughs> almost forgot i already missed maverick look at they're putting a new sign in moose it's adventure second stop so me and hillbilly are leading the way we got robbie and the boss in the back how do you think this is gonna go hillbilly probably well, like every other recovery we've done you heard it you get them out we got fueled up. We got a couple snacks at Sinclair. And it looks like we found the truck that's stuck. I think I see it. Right up there. It is a muddy mess. It should be fun. Ooh. It should be way fun. Shouldn't be too difficult. I think we'll be able to just bump it right out. We'll assess the situation. And then most likely we'll just hook up a yank and rope and yank it on out. But if not, we brought the Fred, so we can winch it out. So this winter has been super weird and we haven't got like a ton of snow, but when we do get snow, it rains and then it all melts. And then we have mud. Lots and lots of mud. Oh, the pictures didn't do it justice. <laughs> There's a ditch. So we won't be pulling it with a rope. Um, I'm thinking what we're gonna have to do is winch sideways and use my truck to pull pressure. And I think we're just about bottomed out on the rear axle. Oh no, no we're not. Um, so what I think we're gonna do, since this is a lot worse than I thought, we're gonna put Fred over here, snatch block, pulling the front with my truck pulling pressure. Okay, so. And I think so that we can try to bring the front around and then bring the back out. All right, so I thought this was just going to be a simple hook a rope up to it and tug it. No, this thing's about to go over in the ditch. They're actually straddling the ditch right now at this new construction site. So I think we're a little underprepared. The picture that they sent us, it didn't look very bad. I figured this would just be a real quick hurry and get it out. No big deal. But it might turn into a lot more than just that. So what we're going to do, we're going to use the Onyx truck and pull pressure on the rear and I'm gonna snatch block to the front with Fred, and we're gonna try to get that front around while the truck pulls backwards. If all else fails, we'll call Steve with the side puller, and we'll get the flatbed up here. But I'm just, I'm hoping and praying that King Fred's got it, got what it takes. And when we were talking to the guys that were driving it, he had said that it was fine. So we're gonna get the front all hooked up, and hopefully we can get this back on the road without hurting the dirt, without hurting the ditch and without hurting the box man that's about to fall over. <laughs> so let's go do this. We're gonna be hooking up I mean, that, <laughs> the rope to the truck and then we're gonna be hooking up the snatch block to the frame. So we're gonna put a strap around the frame, we'll put our snatch block, we'll double the snatch block back, we'll deadhead it at the truck and let's see what it does. I don't even know where we're gonna, we're gonna get the Soft shackle and yank and rope hooked up to the truck. Keep pressure backwards as Robbie pulls sideways. So that way the back doesn't take a chance of going to the ditch and timbering it over. I'll feed it to you. <laughs> and then we'll put Colton in here. Okay. Is that okay to be on that lower? Yep. Just get it forward more. All the, way to the All the way forward, so we're right at the frame now. Well, maybe it's going to be long enough that I can double it back to itself. 
if I'm not pulling five miles long. And it is sweet. We're gonna get this all tightened up. We'll get Hillbilly in my truck. Colton's gonna be in this truck. Just hold on, let's get it tight. All right, so we got Fred all rigged up. Going across the street, we're snatch blocked, dead headed back to itself. We gotta go figure out a good point for Hillbilly so he can pull pressure back so that that truck doesn't wanna come down into the rigging anymore. Yeah. So, take him soft shackle, we'll get that all hooked up. And then we're gonna do a lot of screaming because we left without the headsets because we didn't plan on this being a hard recovery. Go right here. Let's go up and over that big frame rail, back down under, and then soft shackle the eyelet to the rope so that we're pulling on the frame. See what I'm saying? Go right down that channel, have it flop back down. There's a tank there. I just don't wanna, I don't wanna bend the bumper. Oh. It's the last thing I wanna do. And it's gonna choke it, which is fine. Need a lot of choking. Okay. So that, now let's get you pressured up. I want you to stay on this side of the road. I want your window down. <laughs> so he can hear me. All you're doing is just pressuring. Maybe you're not trying to, the... you're not trying to pull us back. Yeah. Maybe I'll call you on my phone. Yeah, say maybe you should be on the freeway call. That's, I just told the camera, we left without grabbing the headsets because we were in such a hurry. Well, we were in a hurry because we didn't expect it to be anything super cool, but now it's something super cool. So moral of the story, Always prepare for super cool. I got Hillbilly on the iPhone headset. Can you hear me? iPhone walkies. Yeah, we're on the iPhone walkies. Okay, a little more. A little more. A little more. A little more. Right there. Hey, hold it. Neutral. 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 How's the back end look? Good. Okay, then we need to reass we need to pull the back around then. Let me get the front a little bit more. Okay. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna pull the back end up now. So I'm gonna go take a look, but I think we need to pull that back end up now. So it's it's moving, but I wanna get that back end on the road more, and then what we'll do is we'll pull forward out of it. So this has moved. I mean, we've pulled it yeah, two feet. There. Um, so let's unhook you, and we're gonna pull that back end up. All right, so we're gonna come in here, and we're gonna hook the snatch block right here and pull this back end up. Um, what? So what I'm gonna do, you want me to unhook or just stay no, hooked? Leave it there. Okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put the snatch block and we're gonna start pulling and actually have him put it in reverse a little bit and just help us. So let's grab okay. the This is gonna to wanna to shift the truck sideways a little bit, but he'll be fine. How much cable you got? Yeah, are you hooking it up right there? I don't like that sound. Usually that means cable stretching. <clears throat> Yeah. 
So we're gonna have him straighten his tires out. We're gonna hook up the front. I think this is gonna do it just fine. You're gonna pull a little bit of pressure. I'm gonna hook up the front and it's gonna pull it right out. But I don't even think we'll need to readjust up front. We're gonna put the snatch block back on the front. Hold the front around as Hillbilly's pulling with the truck and get this thing right out. It's surprisingly doing everything we've asked it to. It's being real nice today. And Fred, isn't he, King Fred, isn't even slipping. How's it in here? Oh, it's fantastic. They got the heat going. I'll just be in the vehicle every time. Hey, what did he just say? He told me to go full lead driver. So I got the wheel cranked all the way to the driver's side, hoping it'll just pull us up out. Hillbilly's gonna do the driving. You're just gonna go with it and keep it driver. And then that'll this will allow it to pull it out of the mud and back. Ready? Yeah. So Hillbilly is basically being the engine, pulling it sideways and pulling it back. We're gonna walk this thing out of the mud. Okay, hold it, Hillbilly. Let me get him more sideways. I'm gonna drag him onto the road now. I'm just gonna pull your front around, so hold your brakes. Hey, let off. I'm gonna slingshot a little, let off. All right, so we're just about out. All right, everybody, hold up. Well, it was a lot worse than we planned on, but you know what? King Fred came through. So for all of you that were doubting King Fred, yeah, he did exactly what he was supposed to. Got it all out and unstuck, so now it's time to clean up all the riggins. Riggins? Riggins. Hey. Gotta get my boots. Oh, oh mud. I know, we didn't even get a plane snow, and now we have to play in mud. But straight from water, wet to mud. No snow. Sorry for uh, getting your straps all muddy. Hey, it's just fine. Yeah, we'll go clean them. We were hoping for some snow recoveries this year, but nope. Yeah. So if you don't, if, if you don't mind, explain exactly what happened. Yeah, we were just driving, we're supposed to deliver here. I thought it looked frozen enough that I could send it, but started getting stuck right about there. And then this guy hooked his truck up. He started pulling it out. It was going fine. And then I don't know what happened, but the truck just slid over to the ditch. So we were, the truck was in the middle of the whole ditch, basically. He about full send it to the ditch. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, I better stop. I feel the truck tipping over, so. <laughs> Not gonna drive. Well, that's good that you decided to just stop instead of keep going because it yeah. would have been a lot worse. I was impressed that you guys did good work. We always try our best. Yep. All right, so we've got it all unhooked. Colton's gonna get it on flat ground so they don't get stuck again. And job well done. Woo! Good job, team. Did <laughs> so everybody out of the way? Just make sure, you know, don't wanna run them over. I got a new trucking business. It's still so weird to drive. That is what you call a success. A little money though. I know it's hard to see. That was a tire. That's a culvert. That's a really pretty rock structure that they almost fell in. So good thing King Fred came and saved the day and Hillbilly showed up and Colton showed up and the boss showed up. My team came through. 
Because without my team, we're nothing. That's where they split. They were in a in a muck of a mess. So we brought our muck boots. We hey, we at least came prepared. Three out of four of us have muck boots. <laughs> Hillbilly left his muck boots at home. My feet are still dry. Oh, Fred, you did such a good job. Stay in put. Well, thanks, Paul. Good thing we had this thing tied off, or we'd have been in trouble. Thank you for your assistance, Paul, and staying put. All right, so we came, we got them out. Not quite sure the homeowners too are happy because they can't deliver their doors because they can't truck them through the mud. But you know what? They'll come back when it's dry. So as always, we appreciate you. If you enjoyed this video, go check out this one.